Hello YouTubers, um, just doing another brew today. This one I'll put a link for the recipe. I call it Mo Beer. And uh, I've just weighed out the grains. Just weighed out my grains. I've got five, or it's just over five kilos. So I'll put a tiny bit back. There we go. Five kilos. And we're just bringing our strike water up to temperature. I'll get on with crushing the grains. Oh shit. It's like our drill has gone dead. We need the handle. Well, I've hand crushed the grains. These are our grains. Nice and crushed, all set to go. Next step, mash done. Okay, we've hit our strike water temperature. We're going to fill up the mash done and begin the dough in process. Okay, we shall dough in and see what temperature we get. I just dump it all in. I don't muck around. I find it works for me. I don't get any dough balls for none to really worry about. There we go, dumped in. No dough balls. We'll take a temperature reading with the, the more accurate one there. Yep. Sixty-five and a half. Right where I want to be. Good stuff. Okay, we've done our 75 minute mash. Now it's time to fall off and gather our first runnings. So, first of all, I'm going to... Uh, 
started off fairly slow as usual. Oh, it's a nice colour. Our temperature probe in there. We'll see what temperature we got. I'm hoping for 70 or thereabouts. Sixty three, sixty four. Yeah, I mean, as long as we're above sixty five, I think we'll be all right. But anyway, we'll get on with this next fifteen minutes. Okay, you can just see there that it's just started to boil. Just the first signs of what we would call a boil. Just going to leave that alone, let it uh, do its thing, and we'll be right back when we've got our first addition, which is 20 grams of fuggles. Okay, so we've got a nice rolling boil going, we've passed the hot break, and I've got 20 grams of fuggles in here. I always use a muslin bag because I find that it's very little difference in the uh, uh, taste because I've tried it both just throwing them in raw without a bag or anything and throwing them in with a bag and I don't notice much difference if any. So there we go with our 20 grams of fuggles and we'll be right back when we have our next hop edition. Okay. Ooh. So now it's time to add the Irish moss. 15 minutes in, teaspoon and a half. And that's that. Be back shortly with them 50 grams of Amarillo. Okay, so we've reached our 10 minutes and we've got 50 grams of Amarillo going in. We'll give that a wee bit of a jiggle about. That ought to do it back in five minutes with uh, 50 grams of Simcoe and as well at 10 minutes we're gonna submerge our water chop Here we go. 
There we go. Okay, so we've got 50 grams of Simcoe going in. Give that a wee stir up. And that's that, so I'm not going to show you the wart chilling because that's kind of self-explanatory. I just turn the hose on full ball, move the uh, wart chiller around constantly till it reaches 20 degrees. So I'll be back when it's uh, going in the fermenter. All we've got left to do is to pitch our rehydrated yeast. And get it in the fermenter and there it is in the uh, it's currently at 23.3 so it needs to come down a wee bit but there she goes all brewed and done cheers now I'm gonna have a home brew <laughs>